You are initiated? No. no, no. Out without initiation. This is the process. Uh, have you any relation with your mother? You have relationship with your mother? Yeah. Yes. What? Quite good. Huh? Good Quite relationship. Good. His mother, He's your son. 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 You know. Relationship what? like son. Yes. What is the relation? And why? Welche Beziehung hast du zu deiner Mutter? Was ein like Sohn. Und Vater? Auch ein like Sohn. Du hast nicht gesehen, dass er dein Vater ist? Hast du gesehen, dass er dein Vater ist? Du weißt, dass er dein Vater ist. Wie kannst du beweisen, dass er dein Vater ist? Du erinnerst dich an den Moment, als du in dein Vater gingst, dass er dein Vater ist? Ich habe meine Mutter gesagt. Okay. Ich habe meine Mutter gesagt. Ich habe seine Mutter gesagt, dann weiß er es. So, wie eine Mutter. And he turned Guru should be there, and he will tell that, oh, your father relation with you is there, and without that, no relation with Krishna. Who will give this relation? Yeah. And they, without relation, nothing. Is there. If a man is in accident and he is about to die. But no relation. What can you do? Only you can give it to hospital. Nothing else. But if your mother, father, your father, your son, then what you will do? You will be there always, giving money, calling doctors, and everything. All arrangement. Otherwise, without relation, you cannot. Understand this? So oh, that is very essential. But you should have surely a guru that will not fall, and he is very high class of devotee. And at once, without delay, or you can lose the chance. Okay. Now he has developed throat cancer. He has gone to hospital. Treatment, but doctors are not hopeful, and he is also concerned. What will he? They are hopeful. They are, they are hopeful. hopeful. Okay. He has been writing with Buddha Prabhu, also with myself, and writing you. Don't fear from death. No. Death is birth. After death, but don't give up chanting name no. and faith to Krishna. And to Guru, yeah. and very soon you will be recovered. <coughs> Can I come and live in India? He wants. Me, Bharat is prosperous, but what's going on? If it is favorable for you, then. Otherwise, be here with your family, maintain anyhow, no and family. waiting. But you have no more family. So who is looking after you? One lady, she took initiation yesterday, like a nurse. She helps him. But she should go and be with him. If you will go to India, it may be that you can tolerate. In the hot summer day, very hot. Up to 46 to 48 degrees centigrade. I've been there. And in winter, it's three to. I've been in winter. So if it is favorable, you can go. Otherwise, don't go. And anyhow, don't fear from death. Always remember Krishna. And every if a Jamil only he uttered 
the, his son name. And even he received the bhakti and went to Vaikuntha, then if you are knowingly doing all these things, oh, your stage will be more superior. Going beyond Vaikuntha. <laughs> all will die by cancer or anyhow. Death is so. So we should not fear. I'm going chanting. As well. If you cannot chanting by mala, then you can remember only in. No, no, can't chant by mala, no problem. No, I can. I, can I am understand. telling, in circumstances may come. No, it's better mm -hmm. in the mind. Then, so I can only so talk. Then so. remember in mind, Krishna, 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 Radhe, 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 only this one. Ram, Ram, any Krishna name. When you are in India, as before at that time you are very strong, yes. you can tolerate the climate very easily. When somebody is weak, then it is hard to tolerate the climate very hard. <coughs> I'm physically strong actually. I'm, I'm getting better. Um, it may be that very soon you can be better. Yes. Just chance is Krishna. Mm -hmm. And everything he can start to okay. Even death comes, don't fear. I want to but don't Bhajan. remember that, oh Krishna, oh, save my life. No. Well, he would like us to leave his body in Vrindavan if it comes to that state. Okay. If you can, very good. Mm -hmm. But if you are not Vrindavan, anywhere you are, remember Vrindavan at that time, you, mm -hmm. your death is in Vrindavan. Understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Spread the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh. If no link with Guru, power cannot come. So he became like one hand of his Guru, rich and all the world. Extraordinary thing. Yes. Now you are that other hand. No, I'm not. <laughs> he was like the first wave that brought a tidal wave of Krishna to the west, and now you are the second Tsunami wave. Tsunami waves. <laughs> After that, Sajjan Maharaj will come. <laughs> if an, anyone has doubt, oh, they can come directly to me. And thus. I have one problem. If you said that we, we must to see the women like like a mother, mother and sister and girl. But I I, I see the the women like, like lovers. Even you see your mother like premika. <laughs> you can you see your mother like a lover also? <laughs> to your daughter. To you. I have no daughter, but no. No, no. Your sister? Like Premika? Love her. Lover? Lover. Sister no. like lover? Don't. I want to finish with my last. You yeah. should finish all these things and think all ladies, except your wife, like mother, daughter, and sister. sister. Always. And pay respect. Because Krishna is there in every day. Jive samman dive jani Krishna adhisthan. Everywhere Krishna is. Even in three people you try to see Krishna. Without Krishna they cannot survive. <coughs> Don't see anyone anyway. Don't criticize them. Thank you.
never goes out of Vrindavan. But, but why feeling separation? In Nandagao, to whom Puddhao realized and saw it in, with his own eyes. Oh, this is Vyogini Radha. Vyogini Radha. And who met in Kurukshetra with Krishna and weeping and wanted to bring Krishna from Kurukshetra to Braja. Who are she? Oh, Sanjogini. After a long time they are meeting, so Sanjogini. And Biyogini, feeling separation. Krishna is not in Vrindavan. So, Srimati Radha is in Braja. No? in Braja. And Krishna is in a Braja, but in hidden way. They are yogini, always lamenting, all gopis and Radhika especially. So in Braja, with meeting with Krishna, is Vrishvanu Nandani hems arsal. And those who are feeling so much separation for Krishna, she is the yogi. And after a long time, who met with Krishna in Kurukshetra again, but not satisfied, she wanted to take Krishna in Vrinda and brought on her chariot of heart. She is called Sanyogini. In the same way, Krishna, Nanda Nandan, Jasoda Nandan, Radha Kam, oh, always in Praja. And in Mathura, who goes? Huh? Who goes? Vasudeva Nandan, Vasudeva Nandan. He goes to Mathura. So, 
इन मथुरा एंड द्वारका कृष्ण इज बियोगी कृष्ण बियोगी कृष्ण एंड हु वेंट टू कुरुक्षेत्र ही इज संजोगी कृष्ण बियोगिनी बियोगी संजोगिनी संजोग एंड वॉट अबाउट बल दे ऑलवेज बींग इन वृंदावन ब्रजमंडल ही इज सन ऑफ रोहि नंदन ही नेवर गोज आउट ऑफ वृंदावन ऑलवेज विथ कृष्ण सो ही इज रोहिणी नंदन एंड हू गोज टू मथुरा एंड द्वारका ही इज नो हु इज ही इज रोहन देवकी नंदन देवकी नंदन नॉट रोहिणी नंदन But uh, one can tell that he was first in the womb of Devaki and went to like Shankarshan. So <coughs> here, Balde Prabhu, who was in Mathura, he is Devaki Nanda, and who was in no Dwarka also, and in Vrindavan, no, he is Ansi of both. Baldevs, but three are different by nature. One, but Jogmaya is making all these things. So when he is in Vrindavan, he is Rohini Nandan himself, Ansi of all. And then in Mathura and Dwarka, who is he? Devi Nandan. But Mool Shankarshan, Mool Shankar, Brajmandal, no Shankarshan in that way. Only mood is there that you took anyhow from the home of Devaki to Rohini or Krishna too. So he is Shankarshan, but. No function others, only function some, but not any form there. Yeah. And when he goes to Dwarka, then he becomes Mool Shankarshan. And in Bakunta, Ma Shankarshan. And when he goes in his, in his manifestation on the ocean. He says that Karna Karna da Saksai that he becomes Mahavishnu Karna Mahavishnu Karna Uta from Jiva's condition source, and then he becomes Garbo da Sai, and then becomes and in the last he becomes Shreya. So, so many functions of we should know all these things. Then you can understand all these things. But I think that when we go out of class, you will fall it off. <laughs> But try to not down on your heart. Otherwise, you'll mix hacha pacha and all that thing. Kajuri. <laughs> so same. Gau Sundar, Sachinandan Gau Hari. In a गौड़मंडल नवदीप धाम ओ ही सचिन अंतर बट फैन ही गोज टू पूरी देन बियोगी कृष्ण ऑलवेज लेमेंटिंग लेमेंटिंग वीपिंग 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 एंड फैन ही कम्स टू वेर Godavari and Sundarachalam. Sundarachalam is Gundi Chamandi. Then what he becomes? O Sanjogi. Then, then he meets again hmm? that Dhuva. Say to Paranna, I am dancing and singing and weeping. So 
these are the things. You should not talk. And then you should go. In bhajan, this is called bhajan. Now we should come on the point again. What? Oh, wrath was going on. Sometimes Gaurhari Age Chale ki Gaur Jali Age Chale O Sam Hai Dhire Dhire and Jadi Sam Gaur Jadi Gaur Jadi Pacha Chale Sam Hai Dhire Dhire If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sachinandam Gaurai is dancing in front of the chariot. Then Jagannath <coughs> forward. Oh, very oh, seeing, looking the dance and very happy with the, his core of eyes, smiling. And when Chaitanya uh, Sachinandam Gaurai is saying, Oh, behind? Oh, oh, I should I go? For whom I should go? You are here. So, the Rath Jatra was going on. Here Krishna is what? Sanjogini. Like, finish the pressure. And singing so much and very happy. Very happy. Or oh, going so many pastimes there. Apurva. Apurva? In the meantime, he was dancing and dancing, he became tired. But still he continued, continued. Sardamodar, Raya Ramanam, Hisadyat Mahaprabhu is now toilet. We should give him So he stopped the chariot and told that where? Balgandi, I Tota, or Garden of Jagannath in form. And he told the Pujari, head Pujari and others that anyone can offer any book from anywhere. So, all the devotees, all the um, assembled persons, devotees, they began to give offering, some narikel of Jagannath, thousands and thousands, and some oh, prasadam, and Jagannath began to take from his eyes everything, every corner, here, there, back, everybody. And by tree, Sarvadamoda Raya Ramananda took, Nityananda Prabhu took, Mahaprabhu, and that garden, and Mahaprabhu are tired. So he was lying down on a tree, keeping his head on the trunk tree. And what doing? Always remembering this, that past times of Vrindavan. And he was weeping, tears coming. In the meantime, oh, Sarvam Bhattacharya, Sarvadamoda, especially Rayaraman, told the king that now this is the time. You should change your royal dress and be like a simple devotee with one dhoti. You should go there and recite the slok of Bhagavatam Gopi Ghi. And then he will be merciful. He will embrace you and your all desire will be fulfilled. So in this cause, he did, he did pranam to Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, or all other devotees, and beg permission, and then he went slowly there and sat on the feet of 
near the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and began to recite. From beginning from first slok and when he came on the on that slok. Tava Katha Mritam Tata Jeevanam Kavi Viritam Karma Shapa Shavana Mangalam Shimadatatam Kuvikirnantite in such a sweet tone, you are hearing my tone, you cannot compare with that. For oh, millions of times more sweet, with tear in the ears, I, and he began to sigh and began to not mess up. Like uh, uh, that Mahaprabhu was so much tired, so he was doing like this and singing. Mahaprabhu heard this, his slope is best. And what became? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Without asking, you are giving me so much high class of nectar and he embraced Oh, you are giving me. I cannot repay you. I am a beggar, street beggar. I cannot repay you. Be merciful and continue. And then he again continues. Praharsitam priya prema bichadam viharana bichate dhyana mangalam Shamana Mangalam Shimadatatam Bhogigidam Dite So, in this way, he continued. But what is the meaning? <laughs> Krishna Das.
बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस इज स्लो प्रथम विषम दैट गोपी जाट हैज टोल्ड बिफोर दैट प्रीवियस इज स्लो वी आर गोइंग टू डाई विदाउट यू then krishna told that they you should die at once don't delay then to be how we can die you are the reason that we are not die tava katham vasam yo katha 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 mane past time discussion of your three hari katha or this is amrita more than nectar more than heavenly nectar than moksha amrita so nectar who is dying about to die and who will hear the hari katha or main through Lila or anything of Krishna, oh, he cannot die. Huh? It's okay, it's okay. Tatta jivan, those who are suffering so much, it is life. Life. Tatta jivan. By hear, by hearing this week past times of katha discussions, those who are suffering so much, I can't really feel. so much cool more than breach tat tat ji kabhi bhi rahe the because brahma shankar and sukadev goswami narad goswami vyas they all had told the glories of your katha that anyone cannot die that is why we are not die die kalmash aap hum and when he has all kinds of kalmas anarth sin suffering all will go away at once not this is not a poet's imagination in real sense it is true to abstract kabir the kalmas aap hum samana mangalam if him is hearing Oh, when he began to hear these past times, oh, Mangala man, Mangala, Mangala man, Mangala man, or Peter began. From that very moment, she made up all kinds of qualification, all kinds will come. Whole world he will knew that person. His glory will be a brief prayer. That is what he. Alpa, Mushab, Ham, Shri Madhavata, Bhuvi Giridam, Tite, Vida. Really, those who are discussing and explaining the three past times of Krishna, Hari Katha, Shri. Really, in this world, they are greatest donors. Hmm. generous uh, donation yes. they are most generous by nature this is the biggest donation and you should realize this you cannot repay me my associates never and never but one gopi who is telling the chandravali are his sakhiza So they are praying to Krishna. Oh, at once you should come. If I hear your katha, it is so. Then if you will come, you are now disappeared. So at once you should come. They are praying, but one is very angry by the action of this cruel action of Krishna. She wants to forget Krishna. But she cannot. 
when Krishna told that, oh, why you are not joining in my separation? Oh, this is, you are responsible for this. <coughs> At first, in our life, we are Tau Katham Bhattam. And with anger, she is telling. Why you are not dying? Then she is, oh, you are responsible for that. You are very cruel, most cruel. And your past and sweet discussion, all are more than you. At first we are very, we are very happy in our family life. At that time serving our husband, children and all other father, mother. Oh, you are we were very, very, very happy. <laughs> but when first we heard your sweet past times, at once our life was changed. <laughs> From began we died, began to die, die, die. Not die, but die. So your postums are mrita, like very strong poison, more than snakes. And we are like this. Tavakathamritam tapta jivan. What meaning? First told at what it says again, again. Tapta jivan. It makes our life oh, so much suffering, suffering, suffering. Shrayata Indira Shashvada Prahi Dayata Drishyatam Dikshutavakas Tvai Dhritasavas Tvam Vichinvate This is the introductory verse of the Gopi Geet. Here the Braja Gopis, they're, they're glorifying Krishna. And they're saying to Krishna, that it is because of your birth in this land of Braja that this land of Braja has become so glorious. Even the goddess of fortune herself, she is living here always in Braja, where all of her opulences are unlimitedly manifested here. And she wants to do seva to you by decorating your holy uh, birthplace, your holy dam, for the pleasure of your lotus feet and all, all of your bridge buses. And uh, we are searching everywhere, our dearly beloved, our dieta. We have been searching everywhere throughout the forest, trying to find you. But alas, we have not been able to see you anywhere, no matter how hard we have tried. Please, please, give us your mercy and please reveal yourself to us. So this way, as he began to sing the Gopi Geet, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was listening to these beautiful shlokas being sung by him, one after the other after the other. And Mahaprabhu became stimulated in ecstatic love of Krishna. And now he, be, he, he began to uh, sit up and he was wondering, who is this personality? He requested this king, oh, who are you that you have come? And you have given me this wonderful nectar. And the king said, I am only the servant of the servant of the servant of your servant. I am no one. And then Mahaprabhu kept listening. And then the king began to sing some more of the verses from Gopi Geet. Huh? And he sang the famous verse. Tavakathamritam taptajivanam kaviviriditam Kalmashapaham Shravana Mangalam Shri Madatatam Puri Grinam Tije Puri Dajanaha. Here the gopis are telling Krishna, Tavakatamritam, Tapta Jivanam. For all those souls in this world who are burning and suffering from all the miseries in this world, the threefold miseries, and they are finding no relief. Oh, your katam ritam, your wonderful transcendental nectar of your pastimes, 
by hearing them, their whole souls will be cooled and relieved from the burning fire of this material existence. The great vice, the great sages, and all the saintly persons, they have described your glories. Huh? Just by hearing all of your glories, all sinful reactions will immediately become mitigated from the heart. One will be purified because you have yourself told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Srim Vatam Sakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. Anyone who hears your transcendental message, you yourself in the form of Harikata will be cleansing their hearts. So, Shravana Mangalam, Srimad Atatam. Oh, there, all of these wonderful narrations are the top most auspicious possible narrations that anyone can hear with their ears. They are full of transcendental potency. And Buddhi, Buddhi Dajana, Buddhi Nidgrinanti Jai Buddhi Dajana. Anyone who sings these wonderful topics, they are the greatest, most munificent welfare workers in the whole world, in the whole universe. So this way Mahaprabhu was hearing these beautiful shlokas by the gopis and his bhavs were rising in his heart. And when he heard Maharaj Prataburja singing in this way, he began to cry out. The gopis also explain this is looking at that. Another day. Another day. What? what day? Yes. There are actually, the Braja Gopis, there is a general meaning to the songs that they have sung. That general meaning is what I just explained, the direct meaning. But there is also another indirect meaning that they uh, actually spoke when they spoke these verses. And our Vaishnavacharyas have shown us that the moods of the gopis were revealed uh, within these Sanskrit words. So, Tava Katamritam, Tapta Jivanam. Here it is saying, Tava Katamritam, that your kata is amrita, it is transcendental nectar. No, no, no. no but I'm saying that's what. That's what the general meaning is. So you have yes. yes. Now you use yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But the Portugal piece, when they say these same words, actually what they are telling is Tabakata Mritam. Mritam means death. Huh? Your topics, your uh, subject matter, all of your transcendental pastimes, anyone who hears them, this will cause them to die. They will be killed by these pastimes. This is actually what they are telling. Because what happens, just like what happened to us, we heard your transcendental nectar of your pastimes, and then what happened? We became victims, just like a hunter who goes into the forest, and with his weapons, he kills so many innocent animals, and he ruins their lives. In the same way, through your kata, your kata is written, because it actually will make everyone attached to you, so much so, that they will leave everything, their happy life in their homes, their relationships with their mother, and fathers, their husbands and wives, with their children. They will forget about everything. They will leave everything behind. And their whole lives will become ruined. They'll become like street beggars. And their whole lives will be ruined. And then like us, even if they want to forget you, they will become so victimized by your, your sweet harikata that oh, they will never be able to give you up and think about anything else. So we are directly warning that all the cubbies, they have spoken wrong they have lied. Actually, your kata is mritam. It will not liberate us. It will make us more slaves of your kata. And then we'll never be able to get out of this situation ever. So, in this way, the Braja Gopis, they have this intense mood. These are the highest moods of Mahabhav Prem that they are expressing. Apparently contradictory moods. But within all these songs of the gopis, these hidden meanings are there. And so, in this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was hearing this nectar and his moods of Gopi Bhav and Radha Bhav were reaching very highest, highest states. And when he, when he felt these wonderful emotions and he saw this person singing these songs, 
Then he said to him, Burida, Burida, Burida. And he sat up and he embraced him. Burida means, oh, you are so magnanimous. You are so wonderful. You are so charitable. And then at that time, he told him, I am just a sannyasi. I have nothing, no material possessions in this world. But I am so indebted to you. You have come and you have narrated this sweet, sweet Harikata. So now, what I must do is I must give you something. But all that I have is my own embrace. So I will embrace you. And now he embraced Maharaj Prataparudra. And Maharaj Prataparudra's whole life and soul was completely satisfied finally after longing for years that Mahaprabhu had given him his mercy. So this way, thank you. Some chapter Gata Padma with Krishna, or it may be in Jagannath way, he saw, and then he knew that he is himself Krishna. And after that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, Don't tell anyone. Keep in your heart. And then Raja Hindu Gyan Kabunna Koyra Prakas. Ansari Shakal Gyan in Bahir. Mahaprabhu was, as he told, he knew that he is a great bhakta. But he was king. We should not meet the king, sannyasis. But now we are going to meet them. They are not coming to us, but we go. Oh, this is not good for sannyasis. So Mahaprabhu, by this story, he teaching us and setting an example that if you go to house or palace of a king, you see he is so many in vain, in vain, what? Appliances. And then you will see his pins and then he will be attached and a mood will come that I should have all these. So for Sanyasi Brahmacharya, they should not be They should be free only high class of Vaishnava. And then, all Kusam Prasadam, Mahaprabhu and his all followers and other general person, and now it became somewhat third Praha. Uh, after noon, some old less came, then all began to pull the family. But not an inch it was going. And then four, five, six elephants were given there, they began to pull, but they also could not go. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and told that, oh, take these elephants away. And then he, from behind, he took his head, head there and began to go. And at once, rock with a great wild guru, he began to run. After that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sometimes going on front of us and doing kirtan, but Rati used to stop there. When Mahaprabhu was going, then Rath was also going. When Rath was going, he was going. He was going. But when Mahaprabhu used to become Oh, behind chariot. Then Rath was not proceeding forward. Why? Why? 
जगन्नाथ वासी दैट ओ है इज राधिका शी इज नॉट कमिंग सो ही इज ही स्टॉप हिज एंड एनिमल कैन नॉट फूल एन एलिफेंट्स एंड थाउजेंड्स एंड बिलियंस ऑफ पर्सन बट अगेन देन ही यूज टू कम एंड देन So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed so many evidences. Then, anyhow, in the evening, Arat reached Sundaracha. That is Kunda. It was coming from Dwarka, Arthu Chetra. तो जगन्नाथ पुरी इज द्वारका आज यू मे कैल इन सम सेंस पुल बट नॉट वृंदावन नवर वृंदावन वृंदावन इज वे नवदीप नवदीप इज वृंदावन एनी वे नॉट रिटर्न दट जगन्नाथ पुरी इज वृंदावन दो कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन गंभीरा स्टेस्टेस राधायान प्रणय महिमा एवरीथिंग बट वाई नो ये इज टोल वृंदावन नॉट दिस बिकॉज देर इज सो दिस पास्ट टाइम्स मनी कैन हियर सरु का मोद राय रामानंद सी की मैथी बट इन नवदीप लीला बट फ्रॉम सची सची मैया इज गोइंग टू स्कूल जगन्नाथ समटाइम्स बिकम आई इट टू बी थी जगन्नाथ बिकॉज सो मेनी लेडीज कम प्लेनिंग सो मेनी टीचर्स एंड Friends, they are complaining against our little boy. That's when he, they, they are taking bath and meditating, and he takes water from out and full. So many sweet water. So there is no appearance like this in India, in Brazil. So. This is more higher than Jagannath, and also more than Godavari. The Rasaraj Mahabhav was more higher than Jagannath also. But this is not called Vrinda. Now, cut the rest to Sundaracha. That is Vrinda.
and Uda saw one gopi who was lying on a bed of lotuses. And her sakis were pouring chandan on her body, but that chandan was drying very rapidly because of the heat of separation from her body. And she was Deyanti Krishna Sangamam. She was remembering her previous association with Krishna. And also now, she was remembering what Krishna will be doing in Mathura. Oh, how he will be enjoying with the Rajkumaris, the princesses there. And thinking that, and thinking of Krishna in this way, she saw one bee and began to address that bee as a messenger of Krishna. But Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur says that bee is none other than Krishna himself who came here to taste the moods emanating from the mouth of Srimadhi Radhika. Therefore, when the bee mistaking Radhika's lotus feet for a flower came near, then Radharani began to abuse that bee. Mas prisangam sapatnya. Hey, Madhusudam, don't touch me, you are impure. Madhusudan means one who drinks madhu or honey, that is the bee. But another Madhusudan is one who drinks alcohol. <coughs> Therefore, Radhika said, Hey Madhusudan, your Krishna is there in Mathura, drinking the nectar from the lotus mouths of the Rajkumaris there. Therefore, he has become completely intoxicated. And because you are his friend, you are also like that. Therefore, you are impure. Therefore, don't touch me. Go away. Go away from here. Otherwise, how your moustache became yellow, Shimani Radhika said. Krishna is embracing the wives of the Yadus there. And the kumkum from their bodies is going on Krishna's flower garland. You went on the flower garland of Krishna, therefore the kumkum from that flower garland came on your moustache, therefore it is yellowish. The bee said, No, Swamini, this moustache color is my natural color. But Radharani said, Never, that's not possible. Only one who sends a, a messenger like you, he will only be ridiculed in the assembly of the Yadus. Don't the Yadus know what Krishna is doing with their wives? Therefore, one who se therefore, they become a joker, and one who sends a messenger like you, he will also be a joke, isn't it? Because you have six feet. A human is most intelligent because he has two legs, but a donkey is more stupid because he has four. But how much stupid you must be if you have six legs, and someone who sends a messenger like you, you can imagine how stupid he would be. Therefore, Radhika said, and why are you singing about that black one here? because there is no one here to give you a donation. We left everything for Krishna. We cannot even give you one chickpea. Therefore, if you want a donation, you should go and sing to those who will appreciate your Krishna Kata, you go back to Mathura. We left everything for him, and what benefit? Then Radhika said, we heard from Purnamasi, there was one black fellow. The name did not say, but that is Lord Ram. In Shredi Yuga, that Asid means that non-white fellow, he killed a monkey. How foolish he is, because killing a monkey is no benefit. You cannot eat the meat, nor can you use the skin from the monkey. Therefore, he engaged himself in sinful activities for no benefit to himself. And that lusty fellow, he took sannyas, but he went with his wife. And another lusty woman came to enjoy with him. But what did he do? He could have said, no, I won't marry you. But what did he do instead? He cut off her nose and ears. And not only he would not enjoy her, but no one would ever enjoy her. And that say another black, his name was Barman. I'm not saying his name, but that's Barman there. He stole everything from his own devotee, then bound him like a crow. Therefore the bee asked, Then if this Krishna is so bad, how come you're constantly talking about him? Radhika said, What can we do? We can leave him, but we cannot leave his katar. Because Krishna katar is like that. In one whose, whose ear, one drop of this Krishna katar has entered. He will become mad, and he will come to Vrindavan like a bird, weeping. And not only will he weep, he will make others weep by telling this kata. Then Radhika said, Oh, that Krishna, will he ever come back here? Does he sometimes remember us? And weeping, she said, Ha, Nad, Ramana, Presta, Kwasa, Kwasa, Mahabuja. Hey, Krishna, hey, Ramana, hey, Krishna, hey, Ramana, Presta, best of beloveds. Kwasi, Kwasi, Mahabuja. Your arms are very strong. Please come here. And put again your Aguru said it hand upon our heads. And saying this, Radharani fell unconscious on the ground. Seeing all this, Uddha became astonished and offered many prayers. Yavai Sri Achita Majadari Bhir, Atma Kalme, Yogeswara Apiyat, Atmana Rasa Gostam, Krishna Sastu Bhagavata Chalanada Vindam, Nyastas Danesha Vidhu, Paribhita Kama. Hey, that Krishna for who even Brahma, Shiva and others cannot even meditate in their minds. 
those lotus feet of Krishna which are worshipped even by Lakshmi, then that same Krishna keeps those same lotus feet where? Which even Brahma and Shiva cannot think of. Krishna keeps those feet upon the chest of the gopis. <laughs> then Bhante, Nanda, Brajastri, and Padarena, Viksanam. Finally, he would have been Dandavats. I pay my Dandavats to the speck of dust on the foot of Radhika. Because her Harikata is so pure, it purifies the three worlds. They were would have prayed like that and returned to Mathura. Then Guruji says, 60 years before, Gurudev came here with his own Gurudev, and this whole place was covered by thousands and thousands of Kadamba trees. Those Kadamba trees were so thick, so fat, and so thickly set together, even you cannot pass, you have to pass in single file. But now, because of mismanagement of the government, then all the trees here became dried and became finished. So Gurudev said he had a desire to again plant this whole area with Kadamba trees, but the government, instead of assisting, only hindered. Even Gurudev said, we won't take one rupee from you, we'll spend our own money, but still thou will not agree. Therefore Gurudev said, anyhow, by hook or by crook, we excavated this pond, and one Mahatma is sitting here, and he is not afraid of anyone, of any ghosts or spirits, or any government person, or police, or dacoits. He is staying here and looking after these Kadamba trees. <coughs> now all these trees are Kadamba trees, but Guru Mai says we want to put a few hundred more on the back there and make this place level. And this is the Rasa study of Radha Krishna. We want to cover that in marble and build a small hut so the Mahatma can live here. So if anyone from Delhi or especially Ganesh feel inclined to help, that would be a great service to our Sampradaya. Go Premanandi! I am going, but you should, in the evening, you should collect some money and give it to Patna. Sita Maharaj will give it to Patna. Go! Gopalji. <laughs> <laughs> Ganga Saraswati Tati Payoshari Arikajalai Krishna Pito Devo Shanti Sri Sri Radhikayai Shukrishnanam Ganga Vishnanam Taram Vyaham
यहाँ से चले और थोड़ा सा Greetings and sanskars. We've reached this place known as Yavat Gram. This is the place of the in-laws of Shrimati Radhika, that is Jatila, Kutila, and Abhimanyu. Sometimes devotees think that we should be some far distance from them, but our uh, <coughs> number one Rupanuga Acharya, that is Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, has offered millions of obeisances to Jyotila, Kutila, and Abhimanyu in his Braj Vilas Stava, because without them there would be no Parakya Ras and no beautiful pastimes of Radha and Krishna in that mood. Srila Gurudev gave several classes in the early 90s about Srila Raghunath Das Goswami's prayers to Srimati Radhika in her pastimes in Yavit. These are in Srila Gurudev's Vilapakus Manjali classes. And we can try and see Yavit through his mercy, through his eyes. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is praying He's Siddha, and he has all the realizations of Siddha, but at the same time he's praying in the mood of a sadhaka, longing for that situation. He's Raghunath Das Goswami, and longing for his uh, Siddha Deya as Rati Manjari, though he's already situated in it, for our benefit to teach us how to pray. He prays when... Early in the morning, will you give me the mercy of your seva, that I can clean your drains and your rooms, and I can dry them then with my own hair. When will you allow me to serve you fully? Then Srila Gurudev explained in the purport that in his previous vision, that is, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami has three situations of consciousness. Antar Dasa, Dasa, that is internal consciousness, as in the role of a Baba Bhakta, internal consciousness, and then Arju Bahir Dasha, in between internal and external, and Bahir Dasya, Dasa, that is external consciousness. In internal consciousness, he is Rati Manjari, serving Srimati Radhika in Yavat. Then when he loses that vision, he is rolling on the ground in the area of Radha Kund, remembering that pastime. And then he enters into Bahir Dasa, or external consciousness, where he can, though weeping, he can talk about it and write about it. <coughs> So in the previous uh, Antardasa meditation or sporty or vision, Sri Rati Manjari was at the feet of uh, Srimati Radhika and Krishna was putting red lac on Radhika's feet. On the indication of Radhika, Rati Manjari grabbed the brush from Krishna and put him into so much anxiety that he lost his service. Because Radhika was saying to him, Oh, you Baal painter, you neophyte painter. Krishna was trembling so much. He said, You can't write. You can't draw properly. And she indicated that Rati Manjari should draw. So Rati Manjari grabbed the brush, and she was just about to paint. draw, paint, the red lac design on Radhika's feet, when all of a sudden the brush disappeared, Radhika disappeared, and the whole scene disappeared. So then, Raghunath Das Goswami finds himself rolling and weeping. Oh, where are you, Radhika? Where are you? And then he's praying, When will you give me that full seva, that mercy, of early in the morning, washing your drains and rooms and courtyard and drying them with my own hair? Just about to lose his life in separation, Shrimati Radhika sees this, and then she enters him again 
into antar dasya, dasa, the internal consciousness, and he finds himself in yavat. And he sees himself as Rati Manjri cleaning the courtyards and the rooms and the drains of Srimati Radhika's house here in Yavit, and then drying it with her own hair. Then again that vision is lost, and weeping and weeping again, he finds himself praying for and then entering into the pastime here of when Srimati Radhika is sleeping. First, when she leaves Sanket Kunj, after she has to separate from Krishna and come home in the morning, because as you've heard many times in this parikrama, Vrinda Devi engaged that monkey in calling out, Oh, Jatila is coming, Jatila is coming. So they're running home, and Radharani is starting to faint, coming home to Yavit, starting to faint in separation from Krishna. If she would faint, it would be a great pleasure for her, because then there's no tasting the burning pain of separation, no pain. But, Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur says that in these leelas of Radha and Krishna, everything is ultadoya. As you remember, uh, Sripad Ban Maharaj mentioned at uh, Charna Pahari, that in Vrindavan the natures have changed, Ulthadoya. It seems then that although Radhika would be much happier in faint, her sakis don't want her to be happy. They want her to be in consciousness. So they're sprinkling water on her and fanning her, and she's walking, though stumbling, back home to Yavit. And she says, where are you taking me? And they said, to your abode, Radhika. My abode? My abode is with Krishna. This other place, this Yavat, is just like a, a blind well. My husband Abhimanyu is very cruel, and he's always trying to trap me in that well. And my sister-in-law, Kutila, she's just like a new baby snake, always trying to bite me. And I'm just trapped in this well. Why are you taking me there? So she's trying to faint, because then everything is pleasurable. She can think of Krishna and her pastimes. But they're keeping her awake. And finally, when they reach Yavit, though she's walking, she keeps saying, where are we going? Where are you taking me? My home is with Krishna in the forest. So when they reach Yavit, and Radharani reaches her room, at that time, she faints. It's not that Radharani needs any sleep but she's fainting in separation from Krishna. And at that time, in her so-called sleep, <coughs> Rati Manjari and the other Manjaris are engaged in preparing for her bath. That is, they get all the unguents, the kumkum, and the musk, and other unguents. They get her uh, garments ready for the day, her box of jewelry, and they're getting everything ready. Then, all of a sudden, that scene disappears and Sri Raghunath Das Goswami finds himself rolling on the bank of Radha Kund. And then he's weeping. When, while you're resting in Javit, when will I get your unguents ready? When will I get your clothing ready? And when will I get your bathing ready? That is, Rati Manjari and the other Manjaris engage daily in Javit though there are millions and billions and uncountable manjuries, just as when Krishna is taking lunch with his cowherd boyfriends, though there are many, many thousands of rows, each boy feels that he, and not only feels, he actually is right in front of Krishna, and they're exchanging their foodstuffs together and joking and laughing together. Similarly, although there are millions and billions of manjuries, in Yavit every morning, <coughs> awakening Radhika and dressing her and decorating her, each and every one of them feels that they are directly in front of her doing it alone, uh, under the guidance of, or doing it with a few others, under the guidance of Lalita and Vishaka. So Srila Raghunath Das Goswami prays that when will I get your bath water ready? In Yavit here, they generally bring water 
from the Jamuna, from Manasi Ganga, and from other Sarovaras. When will I get your bath water ready? And when will I get the uh, very fragrant oils ready? And the water that's scented with so many flowers. <laughs>
Hepinizin human shape and if he has not taken the ashray of any Gurudev, abode of any Gurudev, and he has not any elevated or qualified Vaishnava association, not chanting Harinayam, not reminding the pastimes of Krishna, not meditating Krishna and Chai Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda, that life is quite useless. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 